even though I believe that the core concept of web design will always be the same no matter what age, what technology or anything similar, there are gonna be trends that are happening year after year or when Webflow releases a new feature on the platform itself that you can leverage in your work to make your work a lot more fun or to kind of have a more, more impactful experience when creating a new web design. So that's why in this video, I'll showcase three most important things that you need to know when it comes to Webflow and web design trends in 2023. One of the big push that Webflow actually had in the years before was when they released the Lottie integration. That's where we saw a lot of creativity coming into the space and kind of a lot of really interesting uh, designs coming to life. One of the things that Webflow has announced is their integration with Spline. It's currently still in development, so it's still not live, but probably at the time of you watching the video, it's gonna be live itself. So by leveraging Spline, it's gonna allow you to create 3D assets a lot easier. It's gonna allow you to create animations in 3D a lot easier, and then to add them to your Webflow project and to interact with them with the native Webflow interactions. So, I mean, even though this is what you see on my screen, it's not a live integration, but it's uh, one of the kind of things we tested out just to see kind of what's gonna be able to be done on Spline. You can see that you can create really interesting things by leveraging Spline and like later on when it comes to the like the native Webflow integration. You see companies like Wise using it, so you can see here on my screen that it follows my mouse and that throughout the website they have some pretty small micro interactions that actually kind of are, are done with Spline that uh, probably these 3D assets are also done with Spline. Uh, that are making the overall experience kind of much nicer. Then, hopefully, we're going to be able to create websites like this, kind of in Webflow, by leveraging Spline and 3D. So this is like just some of the websites that I've found that are kind of still like from a conversion standpoint good because they're still not kind of just over the top that you cannot do anything with them, but that they're pretty fun and that they're, they're leveraging 3D. So it's going to be a pretty uh, kind of fun period, I, I would say, to see kind of what are people going to be creating with Spline and hopefully to see what are you going to create with Spline and kind of you can leave a link down below the video. The next trend that I'm seeing coming a lot more into like Webflow designs and like designs in general this year is retro but with a twist. So we're actually having one of our in-house projects being done at the moment, which is uh, gonna be announced pretty soon that has that retro with a twist approach. But uh, I've also prepared some of the websites that you can take a look at and see kind of how they're having their retro vibe, but also adding the modern twist to the design itself to make it more appealing and to make the brand stand out a lot, a lot more. So you can see Link Pop here. It's a product by Shopify that allows you to actually have uh, kind of sales directly from your Instagram account or whatever. But yeah, you can see how they're leveraging kind of the retro design, but also adding some new things and kind of playing around with interactions. Then I'm also seeing a pretty big push in terms of fonts. So like you're going to see kind of retro slash font heavy websites also kind of being done online. Then like another retro slash modern vibe is like the Boba X ice cream. Uh, website where you can see kind of the retro but also a lot of fun things happening on the website itself uh, like sliders uh, kind of many different things kind of happening here then you're gonna be seeing the valentine's website which also kind of makes the 3d with the uh, kind of retro vibe and the website which i actually like the most is kind of klarna checkout 2022 which actually features kind of the retro vibe but it also kind of has a lot of nice uh, and smooth interactions while also keeping the conversion kind of standpoint where it's not way over the top it's just uh, it's just enough for you to understand how everything works the trendy vibe the kind of the pixelization so it's another thing that you can test out maybe of some of the designs coming up uh, and just kind of maybe try even creating a, a, a website like this uh, for your next client. And then the final thing and the third thing that is a big trend in 2023 on Webflow and uh, like other design platforms and it's probably going to continue being so is fonts. Webflow has released a variable fonts feature which you can use to kind of speed up your website like if we're talking from a conversion standpoint but then also to do some pretty nice interactions when using the single file of the font itself like as a variable font. So it's going to allow you to kind of play around a lot more with fonts and then on the other side it seems that this year is the year where everybody is just looking forward to kind of pay the, the most amount of money for a custom font and it, it's more of a battle who's gonna have a nicer font like from a branding perspective which is catered for their brand itself so i've pulled up some of the examples of kind of fonts that that were pretty interesting for me uh kind of that that, that that i want to showcase on a on a video itself so like we have uh called bruno so you can see kind of on their membership website have the views 
uh, kind of serif and sans serif fonts together. Then another um, uh, another big push that I've seen is actually websites using serif and sans serif fonts in headlines. So that can be one of the things that you can test out kind of uh, with your ne next build. And again, I just also added the uh, kind of Drool Design Studio website because it is retro, but it also has a lot of nice fonts used on the website itself. Uh, and it actually takes a lot of time to find combinations of fonts that are gonna work to fit the line height, to fit the kernel size and everything like that in order to make sure that all of these different types of fonts work together and that they're developed properly. So you can use this in, in your next project, kind of try different font combinations, try font variations, just to see what you're what are you gonna come up with. And maybe you can combine that with some 3Ds and the, uh, and the retro vibe and create something truly unique this year for your next project. So if you have some of the trends that you've seen pop up kind of in, uh, in the past months or you're hoping for some of the trends to come back, leave a link down below to the website that you like uh, the, and that you like the trend that they follow actually. Or if you want to see more videos on Webflow and how to kind of scale a Webflow agency or optimize your business by leveraging Webflow as a tool, you can subscribe down below and also hit the bell icon because I think 60% of people watching the video are not subscribed. And I would love to see you every single week because we publish uh, videos every single week.